Hi boys and girls, it's Ward with Miss Reynolds, better off reading every day. And of course, it is Halloween and I have some sweet books for you. What do we have in the bag? The first one is called Halloween. This is a touch and feel baby Einstein book. Witch Cat, a witch and a cat. Pumpkins and a mask, pumpkins and a mask. Bats and corn, bats and corn. Ghost and candy corn. Scarecrow and a wig. All things found in Halloween in this touch and feel book. That is the first one. Our second one is how to scare a ghost. How to scare a ghost. And that is by Jean Reagan, illustrated by Lee Wildish. Do you want to scare a ghost? The easiest, spookiest time to try is Halloween. First, you have to find one. How to attract a ghost. Hide scarecrows in your yard. Tangle up the porch. Carve creepy pumpkins. No ghost yet? If not, keep your eyes wide open while you do more Halloween-y things even at school. Ghost can't resist. Bobbling for apples, cupcakes, games, glitter. Still no luck? Don't give up. Try making scary sounds. A witch's hee hee hee. An owl's hoo hoo hoo. And an eerie ghostly boo hoo hoo. -hoo, 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 -hoo. Yes, you found one, but is the ghost real or just a kid in a costume? How to tell if a ghost is real? Instead of walking, ghosts float. They never ever open doors. Only kids and cats can see ghosts. They're invisible to grown-ups and dogs. Okay, your ghost is real. Time to get scary. Pop out with your scariest face. Make a gigantic monster shadow. Read spooky, creepy stories. Your ghost might say, ghosts aren't scared of anything except vroom, vroom. Uh-oh, too scary. Help your ghost calm down with a cup of warm cider. Promise no more scaring. And instead... Play together, how to play with a ghost. Take turns riding piggyback, Wee! Put on a magic show. Scare other people just a tiny bit. What's not to play with a ghost? What not to play with a ghost? Seesaw. When a ghost plops down, it doesn't even budge. Jumping on a trampoline, yup, no bounce. Hide and seek, ghosts are too good at hiding.
It's almost time for trick or treat. Your ghost probably wants a costume too. How to choose a costume for your ghost. Be your favorite thing, a soccer ball, a sparkly red robot, a banana. Be something scary, a skeleton, a witch, a vacuum cleaner. Team up together and be a traffic light. Three superheroes. Remember, a ghost in a costume can be seen by everyone. But don't worry, your parents will just think you made a new friend. Ghosts know nothing about trick-or-treating, so share your tips. How to trick-or-treat. Don't go through doors, knock and yell, trick-or-treat. Then say as fast as you can, thank you very, very much. Goodbye, and zoom to the next house. Remind your ghost not to float too high. Ah, no feet. No. Now wish everyone. Now wish everyone. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. And that is the end of How to Scare a Ghost. Now, for our last one, I have... Corduroy's Trick or Treat. And here is sweet, sweet Corduroy. There he is. He's joining me today. He didn't want to miss this. Corduroy is going to a Halloween party. Oh, is that a haunted house? Is that a haunted house? Corduroy, is that a haunted house? His friends are all inside. Who is the spooky ghost? Who is the spooky ghost? Corduroy, who's the spooky ghost? Then play, pin the tail on the black cat. Oops, not there. Oops, not there. It's time for creepy cupcakes and candy corn. Time for creepy cupcakes and candy corn. Then Corduroy paints a pumpkin. What a scary bat, Corduroy. At last, it's time to go trick-or-treating. What's that in your bag, Corduroy? What's that in your bag, Corduroy? Corduroy, what's that in your bag? At Corduroy's house, it's time to say goodbye. Happy Halloween, Corduroy. Happy Halloween. And that is the end of Corduroy's Trick or Treat. It's bored with Miss Reynolds, better off reading every day. I don't own the rights to these books that I have read to you, but I love storytelling magic. And the magic of today's story is we got three really good stories. We got Halloween. We got How to Scare a Ghost. And we got Corduroy's Trick or Treat. All from Bored with Miss Reynolds, Better Off Reading Every Day. And today I was a graduate like I was back in 1989. That's right class of 1989 back when I was a little little girl and knew nothing about being bored with Miss Reynolds but now that I know I am so happy and I hope you're happy too I will see you again really really soon boys and girls and don't forget don't eat any of your candy from your trick-or-treating until your parents check it first then if they say it's safe you can go ahead and enjoy. And save some for next time. Save some for dessert, save some for car rides, save some for snack time, give some to someone you love. And if you get something that you don't like, that you know somebody else like, maybe share it with them. I'll see you again really soon. Bye. Bye. Oh, by the way, there I am right there.
reading more Halloween books. There are several of them right here on my YouTube. Bored with Miss Reynolds. Better off reading every day.